Welcome back to another season preview on SJHL.ca and across the SJHL social media platforms. And of course, all of our season previews this for this season and all of our coaches' conversations this year are presented by Saskatchewan Construction Safety Association. And today we are pleased to be joined by the head coach and the general manager of the Nippon Hawks, Tad Cozen. Tad, thanks so much for taking the time to join us today. Really appreciate it. How's it going? It's been good. It's been good. Summer's almost over now and it, uh, all the rain we've been getting, it's plus 30 today. So you want to get back outside. So I'm happy we got <laughs> one more weekend back to ring full time. Yeah. Amen to that for sure. But hockey season's right around the corner, just a couple of weeks until the SJHL regular season begins. But before we look ahead to the 2023-2024 SJHL season, Tad, I just wanted to talk a little bit about last season uh, for yourself and for the organization. Of course, the Nippon Hawks returning to the postseason, finishing seventh in the SJHL standings, falling out in the first round of the playoffs to the humble Broncos. But a year of growth for the Nippon Hawks organization, I guess from your perspective, uh, when you reflect on last season, what do you make of it? I, I, we were really happy with where we went. Obviously, getting back into the playoffs was, was definitely our goal and um, definitely not happy by going out in five games. But it, it's one of those things that we only had three players on our roster that have ever played in a playoff game due to COVID and obviously the year before not making playoffs. So it was obviously huge for us to get back in and just get that experience so we can keep pushing forward. And now that, now they know what the expectation is, is that we keep building and we keep pushing forward. and and make sure we keep taking those next steps year, every year now. For sure. For you personally, though, I want to ask, you know, it was your first full year as the head coach and GM of the Nippon Hawks. How was it from the beginning of the season to the end of the season for you personally? Uh, it was good. It's you, you get more comfortable every day. You kind of push along. And, and now going into the second year here, it's, it, you're definitely – understand of the way things work and and how everything in the league works and and just understand of everything you got to do day to day so i'm definitely looking forward to keep pushing forward and making sure i get myself better because you, you definitely don't want to get complacent when you're in this type of job and it's uh it, it's definitely been a lot of learning and a lot of fun and i'm, I'm enjoying it i'm really happy to you know be able to do this in my my hometown and, and a place that i played and it uh, holds near to my heart so it's uh, it's a lot of fun and i'm looking forward to getting to the second year here yeah, 100%. Now, obviously, uh, falling out in the first round of the playoffs to the humble Broncos uh, last year, uh, a, a bit of a long off season for the Nippon Hawks. But for you and your staff, how was the off season when it came to filling out your roster ahead of the 2023-2024 season? It's been really good. We obviously lost some some key pieces there as 20 year olds but your, every team does that every year and we we have a lot of good returning players that we're really happy with so it's it's one of those things that they're going to come to camp and they're going to push the pace and they're going to be able to teach the new guys coming in and instead of kind of being the first year where everybody's learning of what to expect and how it's, everything's going to go now we have a good group of returners coming back that we can hit the ground running right away and and be able to expand on everything that we obviously did last year and it, that's definitely the nice part about having everybody return that we do for sure. A, a strong group of returning players. But I want to ask you, when you look at your list of returning players, who's maybe a player that stands out that you could see maybe taking a huge jump in their development this year? That's a great question. Uh, it's something that we've definitely talked about a lot. And I, I want to say everybody. I, I really do. We had guys take major steps last year that really jumped off the page that we weren't really expecting. And I know the, the league's talked about those guys a lot, but I, I'm, I'm looking for everybody to come in and, and take those next steps. It, it shouldn't be just one individual. And the, the big thing we stress here is we're, we're here as a team and the individual success will, will come when we have team success. So it's one of those things that I'm just looking for everybody to come in and take those next, next steps and show what they can do with you know everybody being a year older. And you touched on with a strong uh, returning class, you know that's going to help these new players coming in to your organization that you guys went out and recruited. What do you make personally of uh, your incoming rookie class for the 23-24 season? We're, we're really excited about it. We, we've added some more size. I know we were a small team. And um, so we added some more size back down throughout our whole lineup just to just to be able to play into the smaller ranks. We know we play against Flynn Flynn, LaRange, and, and Melford, but the three of us having smaller ranks, you, you got to have some bigger bodies that, that take up some more space. So we're definitely excited to see what each one individually can bring, and we're, we're looking forward to helping them develop to where they want to go and, and making an impact as soon as they get to town. Now, obviously, Tad, you know, you still have training camp, 
preseason, a bit of the start of the regular season to uh, use as uh, an evaluation portion for your hockey club to start the year. But right now, when you look at this team on paper for the 23-24 Nippon Hawks, where do you think the strength of this hockey club is? That's a that's a really good question. I really like our forward group. I really do. Um, we've got a lot of our top scorers coming back from last year, and and especially three of them being returning uh, captains for us as well. So we expect them to kind of take the lead and and really push everybody forward. Um, it, it's not very often that you get three captains back um, from the previous year. So we're we're looking for those guys to kind of grab everybody and and take them under their wing and and show them the charge. We we obviously like our goaltending and. Um, in Damon, um, losing Jackson was obviously uh, one of those things that he got a great opportunity to go to school, but we have a lot of confidence in Damon and we have a really good competition coming in for our, for our backup role here uh, coming up next week. So we're, we're looking forward to have that. And I mean, our decor, we've got quite a few returners back there too. So it's, uh, you know, I, I like where we're at right now. Um, it, it's going to be those guys taking those next steps. And, and like we talked about before, we're looking for everybody to come in and take those next steps and be able to push for, for more minutes and, and more opportunity and, and make sure they can run with that. For sure. And I guess finally, Tad, you, you've mentioned it a few times, and it's about this year for the Nippon Hawks taking that next step. Last year, getting back to the playoffs, finishing seventh. This year, hopefully going even higher in the standings and, of course, going further in the playoffs. But my question to you is, obviously, that's very difficult when you guys play in the North Division, considering all four of uh, your teams uh, in the North made the postseason last year. How do you expect that to play out and how big of a battle and how big of a challenge it's going to be come this year? Yeah, I mean, anytime you look at going into the year, it's going to be a battle no matter what. And you can't take anything for granted. It doesn't matter what we, you know, we think we have on paper or what other teams have on paper. You've got to go out and do your job every night and you've got to prepare and you've, you've got to make sure that the kids are developing and, and taking the reins and they have to go out there and compete every day in, day out. I know the big thing we, we talk about is consistency and it's all the way through. You even can look at players that are playing pro hockey in the NHL. It's consistency on a day-to-day -day basis that's that's going to make you successful. So we got to make sure that we're prepared every day. We've got to make sure that we put our work in and practice and compete hard and, and make sure we're ready to go on any given night. We, we know from last year that any team could beat anybody on any given night, and we got to make sure that we're ready every single day and we, we can't take days off. And that's what you have to love about the SJHL. The parity is very high, and it's going to be another exciting season. Tad, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it, and best of luck in the 2023-2024 SJHL regular season. Thanks, Jeremy.